Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General re Reading. This is for the element of water. So if you are Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, the messages, these messages are for you. Um, and I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully... Uh, the messages give you some clarity. And um, let's go ahead and get started here. So we have Central Issue, Heart of the Matter, as the King of Wands. We have the Four of Wands, the Moon, the Chariot, the Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords, the Emperor, Injustice. So, also, you guys, if you want to book your own personal private reading, be sure to email me to marchtarot at gmail.com. That information is down below in the description box. Um, payments are collected on Fridays. If you already have the price list from this year, you can go ahead and just make your payments. Um, if not, if you need the price list first, email me. You can make your payment the same day. If you want to reach me by phone, that's a different process. So, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get the notifications when, I, uh, uh, when I'm taking calls. And if you just want to support my channel overall, please visit my Patreon and find out ways to do so. All right, so you guys, um, starting off, I feel that um, I'm seeing the pursuit, the pursuit of someone's desires, the pursuit of someone's dreams. Uh, someone is taking action. They're confronting their fears and getting something over with. Someone is just like, let's get it over with. Like, I need to get out of my shell or I need to get outside of my comfort zone. And so I feel like someone is doing the things necessary to confront their fears. This is someone preparing themselves for... Um, whatever the outcome is. This is someone who's prepared to be rejected. This is someone prepared for something positive to happen. It, it doesn't matter. I just feel like someone is going towards what they want and desire um, or handling something fearlessly. This is someone who is also maybe deciding to move forward in a relationship, but not without protection. Uh, that could mean sexually too. So it's like strapping up before, you know, having sex with this person for the first time. Or it could be someone just preparing their heart. You know, it's just like, I got to protect my heart, but I'm going towards what I want. Or if it's about um, going towards your dreams, you know, you just... You are prepared for people to reject you, tell you no, for whatever it is that, you know, we're faced with when we pursue our career dreams and goals. But, you know, this is this is an indication of victory, first of all. So I feel like there's going to be success in accomplishing that, whether this is going after what you want or someone views you as their prize that they want to achieve or their goal that they want to achieve they're going to be successful but I feel like it's success on both ends you get something that you've been asking for they get something that they've been asking for this also looks like balance being restored because someone was able to see something from a higher perspective because someone had the opportunity to take time and think about what they were doing. Um, I feel like someone is going towards something using both their logic and their heart. So there is like the perfect balance between those two energies. And now, you know, someone is able to make a sound decision. It, again, here, there was some sort of decision making going on or there will be some sort of significant decisions being made over the weekend. This also looks like there has to be adjustments in your life. Um, you have to make adjustments to your approach to things. 
if there is a if there are relationship problems there are adjustments that need to be made if this is just about a single person looking for somebody I feel like maybe someone had to make adjustments in how they pursued you so I feel like you know things have been restored there's going to be balance um, a lot of times I see both of these as forgiveness so I don't know if there was any type of falling out between two people but it looks like there's going to be forgiveness there is going to be uh, a mutual exchange of something something maybe it was one-sided at first I feel like now there's going to be teamwork or compromise um, but someone's definitely determined to have what they want especially in matters of love you know the the um, alpha male energy maybe is being activated whereas someone was very afraid or insecure at first or had severe trust issues severe abandonment issues or who had to suffer some sort of tra traumas and I feel that someone is overcoming those challenges and taking their power back. This looks like someone who has control of the situation now and everything is stabilizing and now there can be some sort of movement, some sort of forward movement. So I feel like there's going to be action this weekend. It could even be traveling. Someone could be coming to your home or maybe you have decided to go visit someone um, but whatever the case, it looks like maybe someone is finally getting something out the way. And usually, too, um, it's funny when I mention determination, like usually may all three of these are out or at least two. So it definitely looks like this is a situation when you can't, this person is not going to take no for an answer. Someone is in success mode someone is determined not to fail so it doesn't matter if you are told no you're gonna get back up and say no that's not an answer I'm not stopping until I get a yes so either you will be knocking on someone's door or they're gonna be knocking at your door until there is a yes they're not accepting a no um, You might be trying to tell someone that you need to think about some things or maybe someone is telling you they need to think about some things. Um, but I, regardless, I feel like the fight isn't over. Yeah, so even if you go on some sort of job interview, I feel like you're going to continuously be checking, especially if it's one of those processes that's kind of long where they tell you, oh, you know, you might be waiting up to a couple of weeks to hear something like you're not going to be that person that waits those two weeks. You're going to be like, no, I'm staying on top of this. Um, excuse me. You're going to be like, I'm calling <laughs> regardless or I'm sending an e a follow up email. Uh, I'm going to stay on their mind. So you may be trying to stay on an employer's mind. Um, to make sure they don't forget you because you're determined to win or to get this position and it says you're going to get it. Um, somebody is thinking about you heavily. Someone is strategizing. They're very quiet. This is someone who does not talk about their success or they don't talk about the steps that they're taking, they just show up one day. Or one day you you look up and you see this person is doing something that you know they wanted to do, but they've been so quiet, you didn't know. You were like, I didn't know you were actually gonna do it. I didn't know you were actually gonna do that. But they do it. Now, I mean, this can still apply to, if you're in a relationship, there's something going on where maybe the both of you have are now on the same page and you're determined to do something as a couple. Some of you may need to put your car into the shop. You're having to pay something or but maybe something balances out. So let let's say for instance you you already had your car in the shop 
and already it's acting up again, you take it back to that place, they might do it right free of charge because they didn't do it right the first time. So they're doing the right thing. So it's definitely doing the right thing, being fair. If you are also going through any type of legalities, I feel that the decision will be fair. You will receive what is fair for you. It's, it's just enough. You're not going to get more than what you asked for. You're not going to get less than what you deserve. You're getting exactly what is fair and what you deserve. I also see the possibility of someone purchasing a car. I see someone possibly purchasing a home or renewing a lease or adding someone making adjustments to a lease. So let's just say uh, you move in with someone or someone moves in with you, whether it's family or a loved one. Um, I feel that the lease would have to be uh, adjusted. There, uh, I keep getting addendum. So I guess that is some sort of changes to some sort of legal documents going on. Um, you might receive some sort of update to a lease this weekend. They're like, hey, we're doing an early update or, you know, there's been some sort of changes. We just need to see if you agree to these changes. So I feel like some sort of agreement is being made as well. Now, because this is kind of like it can be a wedding card. It's not always a wedding card for me anyway. Um, but with these two cards together, it does look like some sort of marriage taking place, but it looks small. It doesn't look like some big grand wedding. Um, so it looks like a small wedding or a small agreement. Maybe it's a private agreement between two people. Um, and really a marriage can be uh, intercourse. So, or, you know, sex, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm old, you guys, so sometimes that happens. I use old expressions. Um, but yeah, so it, it could be, in, um, esoterically, when two people have sex, that's a marriage, technically. Even though it's not something signed in the paper by the government, um, it's still an exchange, an agreement, and it um, consummate like something is consummated because you go into each other, you merge your energies together. So for some of you, although it might not be like a legal marriage, it might be an esoteric marriage, which just basically means sex and two people enter into an agreement together. Um, so it does look like a soul contract. And we have different signs coming out, but we could be dealing with um, another water sign such as yourself. So Pisces or Cancer, not so much Scorpio, although it could be, like I said, it could be any sign. Uh, also could be Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Libra. So... Yeah, someone could be going towards or entering this union or this contract. So let me go ahead and start clarifying a few things. I also feel like if someone was coming off emotionally unstable at first, like now emotions are better someone is more emotionally balanced. Someone could have been going through some sort of depression or anxiety, but I feel like uh, mentally and emotionally someone feels better. Um, let me see. Let me look at the chariot first. So it's about someone confronting their fears. Uh, someone did not, someone was afraid to do something, um, to pursue a goal or a dream or a person, but they're doing it. I also feel that 
someone was in denial. Someone was in denial. Someone has been maybe very guarded or coming off as very protective of themselves or their heart because they are afraid. Something in regards to someone wearing a mask too. Maybe someone has been covering up the truth or someone has not been completely honest and they're getting ready to be honest now. They're scared. Someone may be getting ready to do to someone may be going after what they want by any means necessary. So it's like, even though they're doing something maybe a little underhandedly, they're still going after what they want. The person coming towards you also could be wearing a mask. <sighs> hmm. Someone has been playing mind games or there's been some sort of manipulation, but it was for self-defense. Someone is just like, I had to do that. I had to because they're justifying why they did what they did or you are justifying why you did what you did. Someone is justifying why they ran away or why they avoided you. You guys might both be talking about that or having some sort of uncomfortable conversation. Now, I also feel like someone is wanting to run away from work or escape work. They're like, I want to just quit. I want to just drive away. I want to get in my car and drive away. Like something could really be stressing you about your job. Speaking of job, I'm getting travel. So someone who works in travel, whether it is delivery or flying. Mm. Someone has been working a lot. I'm getting false identities. Huh. Like someone has been using a fake license or getting away with an expired license. Like something's going on. Even if you got caught with some sort of expired documents, I feel like they would let you go. I don't know why. Okay, I just heard my daughter come in the house really loud. I don't know what that was about. I think she was being silly. She's being really loud. I can hear her footsteps going up the stairs. Okay, let me um let me look at Justice card. So, like I was saying something about getting away with something, I do feel like, again, someone is coming off as above the law. And I was getting ready to say it may be some sort of placement in your birth chart that allows you to do that. Or if we're talking about some political stuff, someone may be viewed as getting away with murder or just being above the law. Now, also see this as having a clean slate. So some of you may be finished repaying some sort of karmic debt and you're going to have a sense of freedom. Um, it's like you can breathe again or you're free to move about. You're free to do what you want. Um, it also could have been like someone's being released. So if someone was, if someone has been locked up or on house arrest or something about your freedom that was restricted, I feel like it's being given back to you. 
Um, so yeah, I feel like someone is free, free to go, free to move about, free to do what they want to do. And I feel like this is, you're going to receive some sort of good news. Something also seems like being debt free. Something, yeah, something's over. So this, for some of you, this definitely could be about being able to, being released from some sort of in, uh, karmic debt that you owe to somebody. Or, you know, maybe it's just on a mundane level, you finish paying off some sort of debt or um, some sort of credit action or something that was going against your credit will be removed. Something falls off of your credit report. Your credit score goes up. Justice is also about some sort of healing, some sort of compromise. I feel like something isn't karmic anymore or something has been purified. So something or someone may have gone through the fire and now they're purified. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Kind of like a purified energy. Now, not that anyone's perfect, but just something seems purified. I can't help but to notice temp temperance and devil still looks like the the compromising or the coming together of the angel and the demon or maybe it's just that something about a connection that balances you out this also looks like maybe not being obligated to heal so maybe you're finished you know some sort of situation you're finished like you don't have to you're done with that healing um situation or it's like you don't have to do it anymore and then let me just look at the emperor I feel like you're going to find stability and you're going to feel centered this weekend. Now the emperor here is having some sort of sexual frustration. He pushes people away that he's attracted to. Did I just spit on it? <laughs> he pushes people away that he's attracted to. Um, I also feel that there was an opportunity to work things out with someone from the past, but someone was, I don't know, it was someone kept changing their mind about whether they wanted to work things out or not. There was a lot of back and forth. You also could be dealing with someone who's in and out of your life. Mm. Sometimes the emperor comes off as unstable or nervous. But I feel like he's taking his power back. All right, so let's pull some energy cards. What additional messages are there for water signs for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Yeah, so someone's taking their power back. Um, we have the Healer of Ages, 
Third chakra, Archangel Chamuel. Second chakra, Archangel Ariel and Broken Heart. So I feel like maybe someone has been healing from a broken heart. Um, I feel like you guys are taking your power back. You're feeling inspired. There may be some sort of healing that needs to take place with the third chakra and the second chakra or those chakras are blocked. And it's something that you need to work on. I think what it is, is that maybe there needs to be forgiveness before there can be movement. So maybe you're needing to forgive an ex before you can move on to a new relationship. Or maybe you want to move forward with someone from your past, but you haven't fully healed. And you, you're trying to heal that energy before moving forward with them. Or if you guys had a separation or a falling out, you guys just, you know, you need to forgive each other. But it does look like someone's broken heart has to do with blocked chakra energies. So everyone's situation will be different. Of course, I'm not telling you to run back into the arms of someone who you absolutely know that you're done with. <clears throat> However, if this is, if someone that you do want to get back with happens to come back into the picture over the weekend, maybe there is a need to talk about it at least or try to work things out or to restore some sort of balance. If you're not running into anyone, then either way, this is still about taking your power back and healing yourself and trying to clear both of these chakras. I still feel like those are things that need to be worked on. You may need to channel through creativity or spirituality. Like that may be some sort of way to help you clear these energies. So spiritual, any type of meditation, maybe you can just focus on that uh, chakra being cleared um, or whatever your method of healing could be. Maybe you just, maybe you like spiritual baths. And so you just make yourself a spiritual bath or you purchase a spiritual bath from someone. Do whatever you can to work. I feel like is advising you. I feel like this is advice is saying you need to uh, heal these chakras before you can move forward. Um, or there needs to be peace made between uh, someone who you're still aching over. The heart is still aching over. Um, there needs to be healing for that. But either way, I feel that I feel like you need to heal in whatever way you can. And a lot of times, too, I do see this as some sort of sexual healing um, because it does that does have to do with the second chakra about creativity and sexuality. Um, so whatever it is that you need to do to heal that, or maybe you have someone that you can heal with. I don't know. But if not, you know, either way, it has to be cleared or unblocked. Um, it also may be that something is being activated, like these chakras are being activated for whatever reason. Maybe something triggers these energies, like you get a trigger over the weekend that helps you realize that, you know, this is what you need to work on. Let me just kind of. Yeah, so someone will be trying to open up their heart or offer their heart. And it's funny that I'm doing water. Sometimes I relate these to water elements, earth elements, and air elements. So this particular um, oracle card is reminding me of water. So, but either way, it's, I do feel like maybe someone is maybe trying to put it out there that they're ready to date again. Maybe someone's going to be showing you that you, they appreciate you or admire you. Or you could be showing someone that you appreciate or admire them. I also feel like this is saying if you're entering a new relationship, that the two, this looks like two people who have come from a separation or breakup and they're, heal, they're still currently healing. It looks like, you know, they've, 
they've come their heart has been stitched back together but it's still it's still sensitive um and also uh oh I'm gonna get that in just a minute okay and so I'm almost done anyway yeah so and also it just kind of looks like maybe two people are now ready like they're kind of opening up their arms as if they're ready to talk about some things or maybe you're just ready to deal with these matters on your own you know so either way so those are the messages that I have I hope it resonates feel free to leave your comments don't forget to like share and subscribe many blessings to you